All right, welcome back to the One Bar and Lepagus show. I'm One Bar with Lepagus. And you know what? Let's talk about the fact that the Vikings damn well trade their shitters back in this draft, not up. Yeah, if you uh, trade your shitter back or you trade your shitter up, why don't you go ahead and like the page, subscribe to the channel, comment as well, do everything you can uh, to interact with us because we love hearing what you guys think. And uh, we're trying to get to 12K before draft day. We can't do it if you don't subscribe right now. I think we're going to get close. We're going to get close. We're going to get it. Uh, all right, let's talk NFL draft, Minnesota Vikings. There, there's a, there's a weird, weird, a lot of weird comments as far as a lot of people want to fill a ton of holes. Mm. They don't want to trade anywhere. I mean, we can only have so many things. So obviously if we're going to fill those holes, trading back might be the way to go. And we're going to look at a handful of scenarios of why they should trade back. Yeah. All the talks with the Vikings moving up into the top three, but what if they go the other way and accumulate some picks one way or another? All right, let's look. So number one, I mean, looking at the Vikings sitting at 11, there's a good chance. Well, there will be three quarterbacks gone. Mm -hmm. There will be three wide receivers, most likely gone, probably three tackles gone, a tight end. That if, if that were to happen, not a single defensive player would be off the board at pick 11. Yeah, there's a strong chance you could have your choice of an edge, your choice of a corner. Uh, if you're in love with a D-tackle, you could have any of those players you want at 11. But there's also a group of those guys. Uh, so it makes sense to move back because you can probably still get one. Whether you move back three spots, 10 spots, 15 spots, you're going to probably still get someone who could fill a major need. Can we just make it very clear? We don't want to trade back 10 or 15 spots. I, like When I say trade back, I'm thinking like five max. It all depends to me. I mean, it depends who's there and, and how many of those players are there. I mean, look at the edge position. That's the deepest one. If you're sitting there at 11, no one's taken yet, and there's there's Turner, there's Verse, there's Latu. Uh, even to go back later to a, you know Dallas Robinson, a guy who's emerging after the Senior Bowl, there's options there. And, I mean, it depends what you get and what you're offered. But, yeah, ideally, you only slide back a few spots. But if, if the compensation is great, move on down. Yeah, I mean, like, like you said, could have any defender we want. Um, I, I just picture like the Saints and the Seahawks as just real nice spots where we could pick up an additional second round pick, still get uh, a lot to or who whatever. I mean, the, the thought of trading back four or five spots and still getting one of those top defenders actually makes my pants extremely tight. Prove Super it. Tight. Prove it. And again, a guy you mentioned already could be gone, but if Brock Bowers is there at 11, I mean, that is the almost the prime situation for the Vikings. I mean, teams are going to want that guy so damn bad and be willing to give up a lot to get him because he's really a rare talent at the tight end position. Yeah, and uh, offensive tackles as well. I mean, I, I mentioned the Saints. The Saints are a team that needs some O-line help. The, the Seahawks need O-line help. I mean, there could be teams that are just clamoring up to get those guys that are left over. So obviously, if there's a bunch of names on the board, we need a ton of things on defense. We're trading back. What else? Mm -hmm. Well, the other thing is, I mean, maybe get some ammunition to move back up into the first and get a quarterback <laughs> that you like, the second-tier group, uh, whether that is a Bo Nix, a J.J. McCarthy, Michael Penix Jr., just to guarantee you can get up and get one and then still have a pick in the second round. Let's say you move back five spots, you get a second and a fourth. Okay, and then you have some ammunition where you can move up the board and get one of those quarterbacks you like. The guy lately been rumored to the Vikings is Michael Penix Jr. from Washington. Uh, we'll see how that all pans out, but uh, it's interesting. And then that way you can still get, like, your premier defender, a quarterback, and then another nice prospect in round two. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Or we just end up with two beautiful second round picks. I mean, one of those quarterbacks could just be there and then we get another defender on top of that. So I love the thought of two, two second round picks. We move back four or five spots in the first round. It sounds amazing. Quarterback, maybe, maybe not. Uh, I got to say everything Bo Nix. It sounds like he might be the worst quarterback to ever play football. <laughs> Yeah, Holy cow, some of these draft experts are just, they're saying like he, he, he'd be a third, fourth round pick. Like that's how much they don't like him. Side track. It's weird. There's still a lot of mock drafts that have him going very early. So I don't know. We'll see what happens with that. Lot of, well, it's still a lot of uh, the draft season to unplay and unfold here. Uh, so Knicks has a chance to bring that stock up. But yeah, it was uh, not a great showing for him at the senior bowl. Well, and um, you said quick, just like as far as going coming back and getting that quarterback, there's a team like the Cardinals at the end of round one where the Vikings could package those second rounders, mm -hmm. get that fifth year option, snipe them in round one, uh, and then we don't end up any second rounders, but we get a quarterback. But you look at what it could be. I mean, really, you could get a premier player at one position at 11 if you stick and pick, or you could potentially get three impact players by moving down. I kind of like the idea of three over the one. It's all about who they take. They can move down as many times as they want. Quasey loves to move down. He loves to do it. And honestly, at this point, if I had the – Bet if we're moving up or back down. I'm, I'm just on the back on the down train right now. 
Yeah, I mean, if obviously you're going to try to go up to the top three to get one of those quarterbacks, but you have to find a dance partner. If that's not going to happen, I would definitely look to move down. Again, this is a draft where I think what the Vikings need and the value of moving down a few spots, it's going to match up nicely, and you can improve this team, pick up some picks, and fill multiple holes like we talked about at the beginning of this video. Yeah, if we're if we're rebuilding, if you are in rebuild mode, like let's build through the trenches, let's get the offensive line, defensive lines, get those pieces in place, get our quarterback next year, you want to trade down. Mm -hmm. Like that should be your only goal is to trade down and get as many first to third round picks as you possibly can get. Yeah, and sometimes you just got to let the draft come to you and ride it mm. out and see how it goes. I mean, if you can't get up there, see what's there. If there's a lot of options, move back, maybe pick there, maybe move back again. Who knows? I mean, let the draft work its way to you and, and you know, watch that board, watch that, those groups of the needs you need because I think the Vikings can maybe move down twice and still get an impact player in that D-line. So many scenarios as far as round one because guys like Chop Robinson are always there in round two. I mean, he's projected to go like middle round two. You can still get that starting edge rusher like in a chop robinson Jalen Trice. yeah i mean any of these guys darius robinson had a huge huge ass the centers i mean there's so many options it's so many needs in that round too that's why get those things going yeah there's gonna probably be a really nice corner sitting there as well so a lot of needs could be filled mm. uh the vikings move down let us know in the comments what do you think should the vikings trade down will they trade down will it make you excited uh you want to see one more proof how tight his pants are right now they're tight they're tight. They're hot. They're hot to the touch. All right, guys. If you think about that, remember this. Mario from Super Mario Brothers has appeared in 250 video games.